Next, we will take a look at the append and merge. So what is append? So combining rows from two or more tables, one after another, that is what your append. Whereas in the case of uh, merge, you can combine the data from two or more tables based on the matching column between the tables or matching rows. But in the case of merge, you need to have um, the key columns in both the tables. Supposing you are joining two tables, both the table should have the key columns. Otherwise, it will not work. Okay. It is similar to joins in SQL query. Merge is similar to joins in SQL query. Whereas uh, the append is similar to union all in SQL query. I just write it here. Because when you uh, attend the interview, they will ask you this question. What is append? How do you do append in SQL query? So we have something called unique all. This is similar to unique all. And whereas merge is in SQL query, SQL query, in the SQL query, unique all. And whereas here you, you have something called join. Okay, you have some, in the join, you have different types, left outer join, right outer join. All the things we will do it um, in a little later, okay? To start with, let us understand what is append. So combining rows from two or more tables, append. Sometimes what will happen is, uh, yeah, you know, the data will be available on a daily basis, uh, uh, okay, on a daily basis uh, in a separate file every day. Sales data will be in a separate file. Uh, every week uh, beginning, you need to combine all the uh, the last seven days uh, files, sales file, and then you need to combine it. With that combined data, week, weekly data, right? So the seven days data, you will you need to combine it and put it in a single file. And with that, you need to do, you need to create some report, right? So this is a simple example. In that case, you need to combine all the seven days data okay in the real time you'll be using the append more frequently but uh, the challenge with append is uh, once you combine the values from more than one file into a single file it will not take into account of the duplicate values well after combining the data you need to check uh, do we have any duplicate records that is the one thing you need to check it out so so in this case it will simply take these two file data and then it will put one after another. So here you will have uh, six records in this file. Okay, initially you have three, three records are available in two separate files. And using append, after append, when you append these two files or tables, it will become a single table or a single file. And this file will have the combination of uh, three plus three, six records it will be there in it. This is what append is pretty simple. The next one is uh, the merge. So combining rows from two or more tables based on matching rows. This is similar to our joins in SQL. And for example, you have two tables here. And you can see that uh, here you have uh, the Nikon and Panasonic is appearing only one time. Whereas here Panasonic and Nikon is appearing more than one time. This is your foreign key. Okay, and this is your foreign key in this table. Foreign key can have duplicate values, whereas in this table, this is what your primary key. So here you are not supposed to have duplicate values. Okay, so this is my product uh, table, product lookup table. In this product table, each product, uh, if I store it only one time, that is more than sufficient. So here, a uh, cost price I specify. And uh, effective start at effective end. This is another story. Okay. I don't want to complicate this. Since sometimes what we do is the product name will also appear more than one time because the cost price will not remain as it is. Right. So throughout the year, you will not uh, sell uh, at the same cost price, uh, you know, some products, right? Some products cost price will change it. So for that, we use additional columns, okay? Anyhow, I don't want to discuss that one. At this moment, you just think product, this product table, and the product column, this is something like product key column should have unique values. That is the reason we call the primary key column. It should not have any duplicates. Nikon should not uh, appear more than one time. 
and uh, panasonic should not appear more than one time so okay this is my uh, lookup table and this is my transaction table this is a foreign key okay because the keys are coming from this table okay let's assume that this is the key okay but panasonic uh, since the foreign since the foreign key it can have more than one record in it so now what i do is uh, the common column between these two are product key hence i join these two tables using product key okay so in the net net uh, you know both you know both the tables you need to have the key columns without having the key column you cannot do the join you cannot perform the join you need to remember this so in this case what will happen is uh, for example i want to uh, i display the cost price uh, in this table itself okay so in, i want to join these two tables i want to bring in the cost price from this table and i want to display it alongside of each and every value here so in this case panasonic 500 us dollar uh, panasonic and the sales and the cost price because you want to compare uh, the selling price cost something like that okay cost price is panasonic uh, it is uh, how much it is uh, 1200 yes and then nikon it is something like uh, 500 and 300 Mm, sorry five here nikon is 250 the cost price is 250 the selling price can be different but in this case the cost price is same but in real time scenario the cost price also vary so if you want to compare the cost price and list price and then the sales value but usually the cost price will be available in another table that is called your product table along with the product key and product name you will have the cost price okay and here you will have another column called list price Okay, so in the interview, they'll ask you, okay, what are the columns? Can you tell me a few column names? How did you compute the profit? Can you give me the, uh, can you tell me a few KPIs name, which you used it, like a profit and um, margin, per, net margin percentage and uh, markup percentage and markdown percentage. Okay, and what is the difference in gross profit and net profit? and they ask all things any of we will discuss all these kps in a separate um, session okay so list price so along with the cost price we will display the list price okay for this uh, you know cost price and uh, for the, you know we uh, we priced uh, we have we have charged this price and this is the uh, sales we got it right this many number of units sold fine and cost price also will vary okay so with that they can make out so what is the cost uh, cost of goods sold and what is the sales if you subtract the cost of goods sold from your sales or revenue you will get your profit so I, at this moment all you need to remember is when you perform merge it is equal to joins in your sql query so in that case if you want to join more than one table you need to have the matching rows okay so supposing you have something else called here um sony brand is there sony is there since sony there is no record matching with sony here it will simply discard this one for example if you are doing the inner join inner join will select the matching rows only non matching value will get dropped automatically it will simply skip it now what we will do is we will take a look at uh, the append and merge in power query editor so that you will be able to understand very clearly even if you do not know the joins you will be able to understand very clearly and here i'll explain you what is the inner join outer join so those of you who are completely new into this don't worry i have two files here append 1 append 2 okay so this is what so the what is the prerequisite to perform an append we will see that so the prerequisite to perform an append all the columns should be in the same order okay the number of columns the first rule is Uh, the number of columns in all the files should be same and the order of the columns should be same and the data type should be same like how we discussed in the ca case of uh, folder connector but here uh, there is an exception when it comes to append 
you can have um, you know n number you know whatever see here not necessarily all the files should have the same number of columns but uh, if you don't have the same number of columns still it will work the power bi power query editor will do the append but it will be some kind of you know confusion i will show you what kind of confusion look here in this case i just load this data here how many columns we have five columns The next one is append to and here we can see uh, only four columns are there but in the previous one we have five columns but whereas here we have four columns but instead of date here I have date one column is there column names are not same no, the number of columns are not same i just click on load here i go to the power query editor to perform the append okay here uh, it is pretty simple to view this data and look here the foreign sales and here, if you see here, one, two, three, four, five columns are there. And in this table, we have only four columns. Product sales currency is see here. Product sales currency. First three columns are same. The fourth column was date, but whereas instead of date, date one was there, right? And if you go and see here, in addition to that, we have something else called location you need to decide for example in in my requirement i don't need a location column you can remove it before appending you need to do some kind of data pre-processing if you do it it will be clean okay here if you see here at present all the four columns are same as this one but except the fact that here you have that date one column name is different ideally it should be date or it should be date one okay and this column should be same since uh, here the column name is date one different from this previous file what will happen is though we have four four columns are there in both the file it will create additional column for that one so these in these three columns data will get appended with this one so these three column values will get loaded into this one okay in addition to 14 records uh, these uh, five records will get appended in product column sales column currency column but when it comes to date column, it will not insert or append these five values into the date column. Instead, it will create a separate date one column. In that column, it will be there. And here you have date column. In the previous one, that date column for all these, uh, uh, okay, here you have date column, but uh, there you have dat one, right? So in the dat one, okay. So what will happen is you will have additional column will get created, dat one date one for all these records we'll put null null here okay and here you have value in it but similarly in this uh, table the date column will be there okay don't you know don't think uh, individually once you merge it what will happen is see in addition to the date one column will be there the date one column will have blank values for the remaining five records it will have the date one values because in the second file only you have the value for the date one. The first file uh, in the de date date column, you will find blank values for the uh, second uh, table. Okay, second file. I'll just do this append here. I just go here, home, the home ribbon. You have, if you click on that, you will find something called append, append queries. You have something merge queries, append queries. Sorry, I should not have clicked on that. Okay, let me cancel it. And here in the combine, and you need to click on the drop down thing, and you need to select this option. If you select this option, what will happen is it will create an additional query. In addition to these queries, you will have an additional query wherein you will find the combination of these two files data in it. 
here ideally i need to change the column name uh, you know either in the first file or second file as date but date column should have the consistent name if i don't do any data pre processing or if i don't change the column name let us see what happens okay when i select this option what will happen is these two queries will get combined together and then you will find only one query here the problem with this after combining these two files if you want to verify first query and second query's data you will not have it that is the reason why append queries as new so in that case what will happen the second option it will create an additional query wherein you will find the combined data of these two files two tables look here it, if you have more than three tables you can specify you can select this option in this case first table is foreign sales second table is foreign sales too i click on okay let's see what happens it will create another query look here append one and if you see a date one the date one column was available in the second file the date column was available in the first column first file so right since the column name was different still you should be able to append it the the problem is date one column for all these first file record it shows null 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 unnecessarily it will consume too much of storage you just think you have uh, 25 million records out there 25 million 25 million records if you if you try to append it if you find 25 million records uh, you know for this column null it will consume lot of storage space disk space okay and here for the second record second file we have the data for date one whereas in the second file first of all we don't have the column by the name of date hence it will put null here got it so what we should have done it ideally i should have renamed this column in this one or in this one or this one ideally i should have changed it here date right so had i changed it all the four records value would have got inserted into and you know so you will all the four records data from this file would have got inserted into this files you know four columns right yeah so now what i will do is i just uh, i'm going to create another thing okay i just selected this one now let it be that this is for our comparison okay and i just uh, verification okay i just click on home and i just go to combine and i am going to create another query but uh, real time you don't create like this multiple time this is for learning purpose i'm doing it okay foreign sales foreign sales to if i click on it it will create another query append to sorry i should have changed it uh, now open it and let me i just right click on it and delete it so now what i do is i just go to my foreign sales to and i just rename it to date that's all very simple change and then that's it i selected this and i go to home and append queries new since i selected this one this one get displayed here automatically in the first one second one is foreign sales to when i click on okay all the four columns values from your second table got inserted into your first tables a uh, four columns perfectly look here it looks pretty decent the reason why i took this much of time to explain is though it appears uh, so trivial or insignificant right just because the volume of less right uh, in the real time uh, scenario you'll be working with multiple columns more number of records and if you try to do append with millions and millions of records mistakenly also if you don't address this kind of small small issues just in this case just by renaming the column we uh, avoided or prevented having additional duplicate column and also we avoided the blank values to get filled for the first table records okay and so what we did we just made a small change data pre processing as per data pre processing we just renamed the column now to make sure that both the table have the similar column names since we did the small thing now you know the storage is it, it is not uh, consuming to additional column. you don't have to have additional duplicate column date date when both of them are same but the naming convention uh, is not same when you receive the data file 
the real times you know you will have a lot of uh, column problem data type problem first you pre process now you understood how important data pre processing is if you have let's say 25 to 18 columns or 19, 18 columns are there in both the files but you have some issues like this and each file have um, 20 million records and if you unmindfully select the up and new what will happen is it will take a lot of time after eight hours or six hours you will realize oh i have an additional column mistake i should have addressed you that time so that's the reason why check all the column names are correct or not see in the case of power b power query editor even if you have additional columns not necessarily all the columns all the files should have same number of columns okay and the column names should all you know need not to be same okay but if the column names are not same it will create redundant columns this is the classic example date hope you understood right but uh, the one um, uh, flip side uh, with uh, append is it will not take into account of duplicate records supposing in the second file uh, you know the, these two records are same as these two records right including the date everything okay what will happen simply it will happen right duplicate records will be there you need to mindful of that okay you need to address that issue you need to check it out after combining the files appending the files you need to check whether you know any duplicate records are there okay the next one is merge here itself they've given this option merge in order to demonstrate that i need to have different file what i will do is i will just take uh, the sales fact table nc sales so something called nc sales This kind of fact table, transaction table. Look here, I was talking about this one yeah, as part of merge. If you want to perform merge, which is nothing but joins in SQL, you need to have the key columns in the tables. Okay, only then matching rows only you can join it. You need to have the matching rows. I just select this one. I'll just load it here. And then I will load it with load another file. Dim product. Okay. In this table, NC sales, I just uh, rename this query. This is transaction table. This is like your this table, okay, and this transaction table. And the dim product is like this. You will not have duplicate in it. Okay. There will not be any duplicate in it. Dim product. See, all the product IDs are unique. The product names are also unique. Okay. But the product ID is importantly unique. It should be unique. Okay. Product name need not be unique. Okay. It can be same as, but uh, in general, it will be unique. Okay. In the product name, because the product ID use the product id unique right um, so obviously the column names will also be the product name will also be unique okay some extent okay but this one should have duplicate it should not have duplicate values that is the reason why i call this as a lookup table the lookup table is also called as a dimension table that is the reason why we have used this naming convention product dimension instead of writing product dimension dim product this is the naming convention we follow this is the fact table 
In the fact table, if you look at it here, we have the product ID. We don't see the product name here because it's a transaction table. If I specify the product name, you say the product name is very big one. What will happen is it will repeat multiple times. Okay, it will consume a lot of space. That's the reason why what we do is we don't store the product name in the transaction file. This is nothing but the fact table. This is your lookup table. Dimension table is a lookup table. Sales fact is a transaction table. The same product can appear more than one time. Okay, because uh, customer every day come to your shop and they buy, uh, you know, a different, different product. The same product, they might purchase it more than one time or the same product can appear in more than one invoice, okay? So hence, the product ID can be duplicated here, whereas in this table, the product ID should be unique, right? You, but the common column between these two table are product ID. And now why should I match these two table? So in this table itself, uh, they want some product name here. My manager wants to see the product name. And instead of seeing the product ID, he wants to see the product name also. We need to bring the product name from this table to this table. For that purpose, we, we cannot simply drag and drop. You need to merge these two things. Now we will see you know, what options are available merge. Similar to append uh, queries, we have two options here, merge queries. If I use this one, these two tables will get merged, but you will not have the uh, query which will have, uh, you, know, you will not have the separate queries. This one will get combined to single one. After combining this one, merging this, if you want to go and check what records were there here, what records, if you want to check it, you will not have it, okay? So what I do is, after merging it, probably you can remove this one, okay? Or you can disable that one. So now I'm going to second or select the second option. So in addition to these two queries, you will have new query, you know, additional query will be there. And say, since I selected this one and uh, selected the merge, uh, you know, merge as new. So this table appears first time. In the first, uh, first in the first thing that uh, sales fact is appearing. Now I'm going to select dim product. <clears throat> now, importantly, you need to do the, you need to uh, create the relationship. So in this case, uh, these two table have a common column called product ID. You need to select the common columns between these two tables. So if you select this, what we are uh, telling Power Code Editor is using these two columns you need to join the data. But uh, again, he has given another option here, join kind. If you see left outer join, right outer join, full outer join, inner join, left anti-join, right anti-join. Okay, I just select a left anti-join, left outer join, sorry, not anti-join, left outer join. Look here, how many types of joins are there? Six types of joins are there. If I select inner join, what will happen is whatever the product IDs are there here, Related to that, if any product IDs are there here, that records will get filtered. Obviously, this is your master copy. This is your dimension table. Product dimension is your master copy. All the products would have got you know listed here. Whatever the product IDs are there here, only those product IDs should be there here. Okay. So in that case, if you use inner join, <clears throat> all the matching product IDs right here and here, it will fetch all the records. Look here, I just click on OK, and then I will go back and explain what is inner join, outer join. Look here, after I did the match, based on the column, the product ID got match. But still, if you scroll towards the right side, you will see the dim product, something like this, right? Uh, you need to click on this double arrow. Only then the data will get text. So here, all I need is product name and cost price, which you know, I need the cost price also. This is just for my reference, okay? Is this correctly match the T column name here or not? So now what I do is, I select this column and I select, uh, you know, already these three columns got selected. So my manager wants to see only this one. And if I right click on it, remove other columns. I don't need other columns. Okay, product ID also I removed it. Okay, fine. So this is the, so, uh, and if you see here, right? So for my analytics, I don't need that also for my report. So all I need is, uh, you know, in the coffee, 
and uh, product ID. Yeah, this is the product ID. Okay, and from this, this product ID was from sales fact table. Okay, and um, one second, I will just do this one, remove that column, we are deleted. Look here, product ID from fact table and product ID from dimension table. Okay, both of them are matching. Now I just cross check it, everything is correct. <clears throat> and I'm going to remove this one. I don't need the product ID also because this is for joining the table technical side. All they need is management. They need to see an unexpected error. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So here they wanted to see what is the product name and then what is the cost price for which cost price we sold coffee and what is the sales amount, what is the quantity. How many coffees we sold and what is the cost price and what is the sales amount we made. So if you see here, 2 into 47, how much? 80, 94. That is what your cost price, right? Uh, cost of goods sold. And whereas here 100. So 80, 94. So 100 minus 94, it gives you profit. For each line item, if you want to see the profit, you can see it. But the point here is using merge the inner join option with the help of inner join. We did the inner join as part of the match to get uh, the specific columns. Now in my sales fact table itself, I brought the product name column from where? From my product table, product dimension. From the product dimension, I picked up the product name table and then I made it as part of my sales fact table. Okay, this is what my sales fact table. Got it? So you cannot simply drag and drop the column from year to year. So when you do the merge, you need to use merge to bring a column from one table to another table or one query to another query. If you want to bring a column or move the column, you need to use the merge. In this case, merge, we have different options, inner join, right outer join. Now we will go back to the PowerPoint and we will take a look at what is inner join. <clears throat> And here Deepa is completely new one to the type of joins or no. This is called your inner join. Hope you remember uh, the Venn diagram, the school time we studied. This is your inner join. It's nothing but the common value between these two data sets. So like I said, this is the product, dim product. This is my sales fact. In these two tables, I have used the product ID, uh, you know, as the column, right, to join these two tables to get the product name from here. So the common product ID between these two tables will be available here based on which we are joining it. This is called your inner join. This is called your left outer join. Left outer. This is your right outer. Look here on the right side table, got selected here, right outer. The common uh, intersection uh, as well as the common values on the right and the, the, the rest of the values from the right side table. That is what your right outer. And here, if you see here, this is your A union B. A union B. This is called your full outer. This is called your left anti join. This is called your right anti join. <clears throat> Okay, so the common value between these two data set is called your inner join. Left outer join is the matching rows between these two tables and then the non-matching values from the left side. Okay, supposing you have one, two, three is there. On the right side table, you have, let's say one, uh, three and eight is there, seven is there. What are the matching values between these two table? One. So one and one is there and three and three is there, one, three. And then rest of the values are not matching with your left side table. Okay, and the matching value between these two table and the non-matching value from your left side table. So one, three, two. This is what uh, you will get it when you do the left outer join. 
the same thing is applicable here. Let's, let's take the same data set, one, two, three data points. Okay, one, three, eight, seven. In this case, matching value between these two data sets will be retrieved and the non-matching value from the right side table. So you will obviously get one, three, eight, seven. If you see here, simply when you do the right outer join, the right side table data got fetched. And left outer join, if you see, the, the left side data got fetched here. Okay. This is what you left. It's pretty simple, isn't it? Left outer join, right outer join. And the full outer join is A union B, all the thing. And left hand I join is all the values from your table A, except the common values between these two tables and the other table, on the right side table. Okay, so the opposite of this one is your right anti join. So except the table A value, and then the common value between these two, right, will get excluded. So the common value between these two table, so this is what we have seen, common value, right? The common value between these two table will get excluded. And also the left side table data also will get excluded in the case of right anti join. This is your left anti join, this is your right anti join. But now the question is they'll ask you in the interview. So, what kind of situation you use left outer join? What kind of situation you use right outer join? This is a very basic thing. And if you know the SQL query, SQL query, you might be knowing this. And what kind of situation you will use left outer join? So can someone tell me how many of you are aware of this one? Anybody has this SQL query background? Sagar, you have any query background? Okay, Sagar, you and you don't have, right? Okay, I'll explain. So for example, um, you wanted to... Uh, Sagar, you know, right? Why don't you tell me what kind of uh, situation we will be doing the uh, right uh, outer join? Let me do one thing. I will just unmute you. What kind of situation you will be doing left outer join? Sagar, why don't you open up? What kind of situation we do right outer join? So what do you mean by yes, sir? Okay, you, you know or you don't know? Okay, I will explain. Don't worry. Okay, and see here, left outer join. Supposing they, your management wants to see the see a report wherein they wanted to, um, okay, so right, your management wants to see what all the products we sold, what all the products we did not sell. Supposing this is your fact table, sales fact table. Here for simplicity sake, I write only two columns, product ID, and here you have product ID. And this is from your product table or dim product, okay? And here you have, you sell one, two, three, four, four different products, you sell it. Not necessarily all the four, four products, customer should buy from you, right? So if you look at your transaction or invoice table, you can see that product ID one is sold, product ID three is sold, and um, only these two products, you sold it in this, in the last month. And uh, three and four, sorry, two and four, you did not sell it. You did not sell it. Hence, it is not appearing here. Though you sell four different products, uh, not necessarily all the customers should buy you know, all the four products on a specific day or a specific month. Let's say you want to generate a monthly report or weekly report. In that case, when you join these two tables using the product ID, and if you use the inner join, what will happen is, so whatever the matching value, it will show the final report show one, three. Okay. And this is my product ID, product ID and uh, how many quantity we sold. So in this product ID one, we sold uh, five and here we have sold eight. And what is the sales? Yes. You have something called hundred and you have something like 80, something like that. So you have three columns here. This is your inner join. The purpose of using the left outer join is. In addition to, uh, if you do the left outer join, what will happen? Matching values between these two tables, one comma three will get fetched. It's kind of inner join. In addition to the inner join, uh, the leftover values like two and four, product ID two, product four. But for these two, right, this is what your left outer join, when you do the left outer join. But in that case, what will happen is you'll put null for the rest of the columns. 
with this the management can understand uh, see in this case uh, we have only four records because of the space here space constraint i just only put uh, pro four products let's say in our company you are selling 200 products and you want to see this month which all products we sold which all products we did not sell so in that case when you do the left out rejoin you can easily make out right you know these two products we did not sell because you could see null here when we there is no corresponding product id is 2 and 4 is available in sales fact table okay but when you do the left out rejoin you can find out this one so 2 and 4 will also get displayed along with the uh, you know these records okay so with this you can easily make out so in that kind of situation you can go for left out a simple example they the management wants to see which all records we which all products we sold and which all products we did not sell in that kind of situation if you do left out rejoin it makes sense another thing is right out rejoin when will you do the right out rejoin right out rejoin same thing matching values 1 2 3 4 so right so one is there here and three is there and when you do the route out and let's say you have something else called seven is there this product id 7 id is not at all appearing here the rule is whatever the product id that you know that is appearing in your sales fact table should be available in this table but there is something here wrong here okay and in that case you can find out the exception so what will happen matching rows between these two are 1 and 3 okay these two values will these two records you know they will will appear look here like this 1 and 3 will come here but the seven it will put you know there is no matching value seven null null it put with this you can find out there is something wrong here they, we did not use the proper product id we use the wrong product id in the case of uh, creating the exceptional report finding this kind of issues right you can use uh, so what will happen is the the clerical person when they enter the product they gave the wrong product id here which is which was not available in this table okay ideally whatever the product id was there here they they were supposed to use it but they used something different here ideally the seven is nothing but four according to us when you go and let's say assume that hypothetically right when you later on refer it it is four just because they mention a wrong code what will happen is uh, the quantity and the sales you made it in this product it will not get added to your the current transaction right so when you do the inner join this in even the case of inner join this one will get excluded even if you do right outer but in the case of inner join it will simply exclude the record and it will make you to think hey we made only 5 and 8 uh, units sold but what about the units which you sold uh, in the product id 7 that will not come here because you did inner join matching values only will get fetched because the, there is no 7 available here even if you do inner join this will get skipped you, you will not catch it but when you use the right out to join it will display along with this it will display seven also then you can easily find out in seven we sold 25 products and sale price was uh, you know 100 10000 but to, you know the why this one was not taken into account this is your exception because wrong product id mentioned so it will show you your your sales right uh, is very less though you have made more sales so in that kind of exceptional report you can use right out rejoin left out rejoin you understood and full out rejoin is right sometimes we want to combine all the data into single file right? that kind of thing you can do it and left hand i join is is some you know some situation a minus b <clears throat> something on a minus b this is my a this is my b and this is my a and this is b minus a this is kind of b minus a and that is kind of your a minus b supposing i give you two files let's you know let's say branch 1 and branch 2 you know we have two branches okay and say uh, right so we have a two retail chain or two retail stores are there i want you to check i'll give you the product uh, file excel file from branch 1 product excel s file and what are the products we sell it in branch 1 what are the products that we sell it in branch 2 i'll give it in two different files and if i ask you what are the products which we sell it in branch 1 which we don't sell it here and vice versa so in that kind of situation you can go for left hand edge on right hand edge on now you understood right 
so when to use say understanding the types of joints and how it works that is not sufficient what kind of situation business case you use it this is the kind of situation this is very much helpful now we will go to the power query editor <clears throat> and i just click on home <clears throat> i just do the merge queries merge queries as new we did the inner join now i just do the see look here merge one sometimes what will happen is you need to merge more than two tables so in that case what you do is you merge these two tables and then you got this output and with this you are going to merge another table you got it that is how we do it so that's look here the merge one already we merged these two tables you want to merge this one with any other table no i don't want to do that now and uh, what i do is i select dim product and here okay sorry here what i do is i say you so make sure that you are not you are selecting the correct table here okay dim product or sales fact not the merge one you can select that one also if you try to merge this uh, merged value with uh, other table you can use it okay but in my in this example i will just show you the left outer joint <clears throat> okay here uh, you can also change it product and here i do the sales fact and here the common column between these two are product you need to select this one otherwise the okay button will not get enabled and left outer all from first matching from second look here very crisp statement and i click on look you you have something to use fuzzy matching to perform this is a beautiful feature i will explain you at the time of group by okay so now i selected left outer <clears throat> click on okay and here the sales fact it shows as a table you need to expand it i don't need all these columns i need only look here i just unselect everything i want to quantity and sales amount and profit that's all <clears throat> and even category id i don't need it okay for this product we can see the product name can we see null here uh, yes we can see null here so what do you understand from this one this is from my dim product okay so look here the sales fact uh, columns are prefixed with sales fact so what do you see null here what what does it says when you do the left outer join <clears throat> it, you know this record tells me we did not sell gel product <coughs> we sold all the products except gel with this you can easily make out right left outer similarly you try right outer join that is an exercise for you all i'll share this file then try with the left outer join or so right outer join and left anti join also you can try it out okay left anti join right anti join all type of joints you try it out and let me know if you have any questions since we took i thought of uh, covering more today since i took a deep dive i'm not able to this is any not a problem uh, there is no point in rushing understand everything in depth because uh, when you go to a job so you can clear the interview but end of the day 